the three letters that every athlete knows and does not want to hear, ACL. The anterior cruciate ligament is a major stabilizer of the knee, protecting against both rotational and anterior shifting of the tibia during our functional movements. For this reason, injury to the ligament can be devastating and in most cases will lead to surgery. 60% of these injuries are non-contact and happen while decelerating, cutting, twisting, jumping, and landing. Those between the ages of 15 and 30 are most affected, and females are at a much higher risk due to differences in anatomy, hormonal influences, poor landing mechanics, and muscular imbalances that are not seen in their male counterparts. During an ACL reconstruction surgery, the ACL is replaced with a tissue graft used to mimic the natural ACL. This tissue either comes from a person's own body or a donor's body. While the choice of graft will ultimately come down to surgeon preference, age, and goals of the individual, the patellar tendon autograft is often the top choice for a younger and higher level athlete. This is because it fixates the new tendon to bone on two ends allowing for optimal healing as opposed to the other options that require the tendon to be sewed to bone on one end. Today, rehabilitation is very scientifically driven as we know much more about the ligament and healing process than we did in the past. Controlling for swelling, restoring range of motion, and improving activation of the quadriceps are the first bases to cover. Improving strength and stability are the next steps before ultimately training for dynamic and explosive movements in preparation for a return to sport. It is unfortunate that ACL injuries have become so common in today's sports, but because of this, we have become better at treating this issue so that our athletes can get back on the field and make the cut. Thanks for watching. No motion.